what do we have? The Last Tinker City of Colors. Unity Game Engine. Well, hopefully this is not one of those uh, dreadful games that is on Unity. A lot of games are being pushed out on Unity because the engine is really easy. Okay, this looks nice. I actually had this on my um, on my Steam wishlist for some time now, but I didn't really get around to it. Okay, let's just start this one off. Slot one, new. Okay, let's do it normal mode. We want to get a little bit further into the game without too much of a hassle. Tinker World, a place where everything can be built from basic materials, as long as the idea behind it is strong enough. From ancient forests to bustling cities, from the tallest mountain to the deepest ocean, all is crafted with nothing more than color, paper, and glue. Even small pets, or giant ones. Paint is reduced in the really city colorful. colors and brings life to That's the sorry. inhabitants of Tinkerwell. Everybody has a favorite shade, which makes them individual. But now, the city is in danger. Ooh, Fortitude has turned to sadness, curiosity to fear, and strength to anger. People have divided the city into districts, even starting to hate other colors. Only in the outer district, where all colors are accepted, are people still normal. But among them lives a boy with very special talents. Soon, he will start a chain of events that will destroy the city. So the story kind of reminds me of a, of a game, uh, Avatar <clears throat> or Ultima, you probably know it, or uh, uh, like uh, Nino Kuni, where everyone has lost their, um, well, their, their joy of life and everything, and they get transformed by this evil, uh, evil power. Oh, we're the monkey! <laughs> oh, again! Why do you always carry your old pal? Step like that. Mm -hmm. Come on now, it's race time. First, let's register. Okay, down at the booth. Don't bother warming up. I'll coach you on the way. Okay. So the game tells us what to do in a, in a, in a very nice way. We don't get this pop up. It's actually in the game. That's nice. It also has this this drawn feel to it. Like it said, it's uh, drawn by hand or something. Like you're you're looking at pictures. Graphics on this are pretty decent, though basic. They're decent. Use the mouse to look around. Okay. So we've we've managed that. Okay, let's sprint. Running through the world of colors. I feel so colorful right now. Morning, Core. You are fit for. The, are you fit for the race today? I can't talk back. Can I? Oh, oh sorry. No. <laughs> are you fit for the race? Yeah. <laughs> you see, I'm fit already. Okay, let's go. Uh, what's your plan for today? I see you can score some paint. I'm dry. But it does look kind of dry though. Uh, let's see what we can do in this game. So we get like all these all these characters we can talk to right in the beginning. And we're supposed to be going to some sort of race. Sorry, Koku. The gates jammed again. It'll br okay, let's, let's do this in normal accent you would would think of this person. Uh, it'll probably take a few hours to fix. Oh boy, business as usual. It looks like we're taking the long way around. It'll be a nice warm up from the race. Okay, so... I guess we'll just keep on running. Oh, got something. Okay, down here. Okay, yes my friend. Hold space to auto jump over gaps. So this is like uh, the Assassin's Creed part of the game, where you just hold the button and it'll automatically tell us where to go. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going someplace, hold space and run against the root. So we can climb roots, that's fine. Unless you like the feel of these games, they're, uh, they look a little bit childish uh, though, but they're, they're quite enjoyable. Also, 
It doesn't have an, have an age limit on it. I think this is something I can enjoy, but also my kids can enjoy. So just for 1209, we could get 14 other games with this with this one. I think this one alone is pretty decent. It's uh, on a 90%. It's 90% off. So probably you would you would buy this for around uh, around 12 bucks, I think. Health and respawn at the edge. If you lose all your health, you'll travel travel back to the latest tinker seed. So these are the tinker seeds. So if I get into the water. I that I get automatically respawned. Yay! Okay, that's a big octopus. Okay. Uh, yay! I made it. <laughs> that's so much fun. This is a game that actually, if, if you're if you're on a down day, you know, uh, you, you might probably want to play this because it's cute as hell. Like, oh, I don't want to go to work today. I feel a little bit under the weather. Oh. Oh. <laughs> the, 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 this is kind of, kind of one of the games that'll pick you up. It doesn't have much difficulty in it. The, uh, the controls are pretty self-explanatory. And the, game's, the game explains it to you right off the bat. So It's pretty basic. We can just look around with the mouse. and uh, I think this is, there are probably some controller options in here as well. Though, it doesn't make excessive use of bump mapping or any of the futuristic things. But let, let's, let's look at the, at, at the uh, textures for a bit, just up close. Uh, well, I, I can see the polygons, there's not much bumping going on, but... I mean, you know, the graphics aren't everything into a game, that's definitely, definitely true. And with this game, maybe more, if you look at the character, there, there, are, there is some bump mapping on there. But... There's great detail, animations look nice. It just has this really slow motion thing going on in it. Okay, press to jump down. Okay, I'm pressing. And we're jumping down, okay. We have like this cardboard, cardboard trees. It really has a cute atmosphere to it. Like... Like the designers actually got over some of the uh, heavy duty modeling things and just put well, what if we just use that cardboard thing? We can we can make it edgy and that's a great thing. Okay, what's that back there? Yes, what is it back there? My little meow friend. Oh, what should what should we call this guy? If there's anyone on this channel watching, <laughs> uh, make a suggestion. How should we call this guy? I will call. Him Snorky. Let's call it Snorky. It's like a Snorky goatee. But... Uh, okay, this is a floating brush. So somebody in the market district is keen on collecting these things. So we have our collectibles. One out of five, so I don't think... I, think, I hope the objective is not just to uh, collect all these, uh, all these brushes. Ah, oh, we found some stuff in the boxes. This is a whole lot of trouble to get through a race, though. I don't know at this point if I'm playing a race game or platformer or what the point of the game is, but it'll probably explain to me later. I'm gonna just go with the flow, doing Zelda stuff. In a different game than Zelda, of course. <laughs> yeah! Grab the boxes! Oh, you! I've encountered my first enemy, their, their boxes. Okay, thank you, girl. Now I have build new crates again. <laughs> it actually interacts with the uh, that I destroyed these crates. I love these. I love the way they talk. Like, they have these pop-up things, also made from cardboard, from what I can judge. But they're in the 3D world. Usually, you get like these 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 boxes over people's heads. This is really nice. This is really nice. I had a ship, I sailed away, visit the paper mountains. The ship, I take a paper plane and explore the blue eyes. This gets broken. Is it? I thought so. When I heard you smashed our crates again, 
but you can pay me back after you've won the race to go, deal. Now into the jungle, let's with you. Okay. Uh, step on the pad and press F when you have a nice flight. Okay. And we're going. Three, two, one, go! Whee! <laughs> Oh, this is classic. I guess he's probably also kind of mad at me for breaking the boxes. I'm actually scared to go in. I'm scared to walk into this guy. He's, he looks like a maniac. Oh, yeah. He is. He is. Right, my friend, I am a great wizard. Prepare yourself for my color magic. You shit. <laughs> so put a lot of the ring stuff in this. I love that. Like a little reference to the modern uh, geeky stuff. Well, sorry, uh, I just couldn't resist. That wizard outfit you made is amazing. Thank you so much. So I'm not only a person of colors, but I'm also a tailor of some sorts. Uh, you're amazing at tinkering. Here's 20 blue Viagra pills for your troubles. <laughs> I go and shoot. Okay, to my friends. Okay, the guys just shoved something looking like uh, my agro pills into my uh, into my inventory, and, and he's gonna show his friends. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's uh, hey uh, Gabba Monk, thank you for watching. Um, I actually don't know if this one is on PlayStation 4, but if if it's on PlayStation 4, you sh definitely should have it. Um, also, this is from the uh, the da Dalek um, publisher. So I think they also do some of the uh, PS4 titles as well. So we got a map of our yard. So we're in that city, and there is some snow, mountains, some jungle stuff, and a, probably even a sea. So we should go probably look for where the races are. Have you come to steal my bananas again? <laughs> Two words, stay away. No, I haven't come to steal your bananas. Car bread, paper pretzels. <laughs> they really, really went all in on the uh, paper and drawing theme of this game. You have cardboard uh, fences, cardboard dialogue boxes. Everything is referencing anything with paper and things that have to do with that. I have two uh, daughters, and I think they would actually love to play this game. All cards are equal. Okay, there's some SJW stuff going on there. Embrace the spirit of unity! That's the engine, but... Look at my awesome hair! Yeah, if this was a smurf, this one would be vanity. Stop fighting each other! Oh, so this is a protest. Who's the best player? Take a shot! Okay! They don't, they don't sit, tell, tell me anything to do when I'm winning. Also, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, oh, we got some creative. Oh, what is that? It's, it's me. I'm the, I'm the painter in the other world. I am the, I'm the blood of Da Vinci. That's what it kind of looks like. It looks like an Italian guy. Let's make some more crazy. I know they probably piss people off. I'm not even getting this before. If I get a word, it could be bad, right? Merchandise! Grab your merchandise! Can we actually buy merchandise in this game? How fast can we do it? Okay. Let's see if we can interact with some of this. No. Apparently we can. We have to go straight into the other It's interactable. Uh, what can I do for you? <laughs> You're snorky again. We're here to register for the race. Alright, that'll be 500. What? Sorry guys, but the district is in bad shape. The tension between the other districts are If they don't produce any color, we'll have nothing to paint on. Uh, so we have to make crystals. Oh, they're not very aggro, but they're crystals. So we're, we're all good. Uh, 
It looks like we have to get some crystal. Yes, yeah. yeah. the people at the tavern might have some work for us. Press T and I'll show you your way. Okay, press T. Oh, that went fast. Snorty! Snorty, my friend, come back. Come back, where are you? Snorty! So we're going into the tavern. Into the tavern. That's really not an indoor area. That's just an outdoor area. So we're in the tavern. So, cheers, mates. Uh, okay. Taps, how's it going? So this is kind of an RPG style platformer where we have to jump uh, through hoops, uh, defeat some enemies, and go through obstacles. I think this is an obstacle run, but it also has a story behind it. The story is really good so far. It's uh, well. It, it's it's not the best story ever, but for uh, for a game just to pass the time, it's really great. Also, the graphics in there they're limited to a degree, but they're, they're they really fit the uh, fit the scenery, really fit the feel of the game. So that's great. Good muddy out there the mushroom farm. Today's my day off, so you could probably help him instead. Brick is organizing a new fighting workshop today. Okay, what, what voice should we, uh, should we give him? Okay. He asked for the personality guru. Maybe you can do something for him. Thank you, guys. Let's go, Cory. Let's go, Cory. I forgot how it was snorty. Uh, remember, press D and I'll show you your way. Uh, this is actually far better. Um, one of the things that the newer games miss is that they have all these mini maps and things and now we have this feature to have um, a compass incorporated into the game itself and into the story itself. So that's what I like. It, it doesn't show you on a map where to go and you, you, you pop up this cute little, little beast, beastie to do it for you. Like, that's how you incorporate that into a game. I love seeing that. Okay, earn 500 crystals. Press T for the marker. Let's earn 500 Viagra pills. Oh, whatever, you have the bad guy. I think he's the color. Tidia color. Uh, the you right to the farm, I presume. I'm doing another fighting workshop today. If you'd like to join, it's the same place as usual. Let's choose the car going up the station. Yeah, that's a good voice for him. Let's do that. Okay, this, this guy's past that. Okay, the station. Let's go to the station. See how fast we can. Yeah, yeah. Wowee! I'm spawning him like a maniac here. Okay, press hold the cargo on the rail. Okay. Oh, this looks right. <laughs> this is great! This is great! I actually had high hopes for this game at first. So I was kind of... Um, kind of worried that I would get disappointed, but... They're, they're, they're great. Graphics are not not realistically done or not too fancy, but for a simple way, this is done amazing. Okay, okay now we have to fight this guy. Tommy, I'm hoping you come. In. The others are ready inside for you. Okay, let's uh, let's go to the uh, go to the fight. Okay, let's fight again, boys. Hey, how are you? Okay, let's, let's, just, let's just start this. Let's get this party started. <laughs> I'm always too eager. Uh, go and join the others so I can start with the workshop. Yeah, I already did, man. Okay, start with the workshop. There's more of you every day. It's good to know. People are willing to stand up against the bullies. I, th I thought he was a bully, actually. I'm actually not playing with a controller. Uh, I'm playing with the keyboard. I have a controller. Um, I think this game is controller supported, but I haven't said it, so... We have to stand up against the bullies from the Red District. 
All right, everyone, let's lumber up. Mm, make sure you go. For all the exercise, mm, let's get in. Let's go, people. Okay, so exercise completed. I don't know which exercise we're... Okay, the T button doesn't work now. But let's go to the exercise portion of this game. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Oh, hello. Am I, I, I seriously going to need to need to kick this guy or or fight this guy? I mean, he's already trembling. <laughs> he's already trembling. I have to, I have to go and fight this guy, and he's already shitting his pants. As we say in the Netherlands, he's shitting all the colors of the rainbow, and that probably is suitable for this game. Never heard it twice in a row, I'm so confused. Maybe you can do it? Okay, hit each of them at least once, but never the same one twice in a row. Okay. One. One. And one! Hit each of them at least once. Never hit the same twice in a row. Yeah, I already did that, dude. Like one, one, one. One, one. Hit each of them. I'm doing it, dude. Yay! You did it. You are so cool. Oh, I'm so cool. Whee! You filled my heart with joy, Mr. Scaredy Pants. Oh, I'm not supposed to hit him. Oh. And why am I pressing the button? Okay, so we completed one of the tasks. Let's see what the rest is in store for us. Now, probably this guy has some mini games for me. You know the rules: no fighting without doing some preparation. Okay, oh, there we have. I have one. Are you here to do some dodging? So basically, this, the story already begins, and the game is letting me uh, play th through a tutorial. Okay, so we have to do that to dodge in any direction. It's actually pretty hard with the mouse button. So you have to already be kind of running in one one way. <laughs> How do you do it, Cory? You can't even get out that far. Oh, now it's time for dodge punch practice. Okay, you know the drill, of course. Choose a target and show me three dodge punches. Dodge towards your target and press. Okay, so let's do this one. That's another dodge punch. Oh, okay, that won't work. Uh, Let's see this. Watch out! I'm the Bruce Lee. I'm the Bruce Lee of monkeys. I'm the monkey Bruce Lee. You've done enough dodging. Way! Good job. Okay, we already completed this. Now we have one last challenge. Okay, which one will give me my challenge? This guy. Here you go, Guess what? I've set up some new records. Okay, 14 hits in a row. Impress, go good. I dare you to beat that. I probably can though, because I can hit that mouse button like my other. I go to your bag. I repeatedly to perform combos. Okay, let's take it back. Okay, let's do the combo. I can do the 14 much better than you can. Oh yeah, oh yeah, let's go. I can do 15, I can do 60, I can keep going all day. <laughs> Okay, what, 15 hits? Are you kidding me? No, I actually did more, buddy. Don't you under- Never underestimate my powers! Okay, so I completed all the tasks. Let's go to this guy. Looks like you're ready for the fight, Koru. Step into the center of the ring and be ready! I'm gonna kick your ass. Bully. Come on. Want your strawberry red fella? Alright, people listen up. Oh, We all know Koru is the best fighter here. Let's give him a bit of a challenge today. 
We'll be fighting him in groups. Scory, show them what you made of. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Right county can't come in blows. No, they, they didn't even blow him. No, they didn't even hit me. I was gonna say something that was taken totally. Okay, incoming blows. Yeah, dodge it. Dodge it. Yeah, the lizards. Come on. We've got nothing against the great court room. I'm ready for face more opponents. Keep dodging. Use the dodge to punch them. And yeah, let's go Kung Fu. The Black Horse Kung Fu fighting. Oh, I'm, I'm mastering this. I am mastering this. You have nothing on me. Come on. Come at me. Come at me. So if my microphone is crackling a little bit, guys, please tell me on the chat because I cannot hear myself. Mm. I can fix that in the next review we're going to do. So monitor your health closely. Collect health crystals if you need them. Final round, so give it all you've got. Okay, cool. We have more guys. I like the one punch monkey. Marching tiger hidden monkey. Uh, R-rated if I say you're punching the monkey or beating the monkey. I think in some some countries, uh, especially in the U.S., it has a different word about beating the monkey. You're a real piece of work, kid, I guess. Uh, there's nothing more I can teach you. Here's five. Two hundred and fifty Viagra pills for showing the others what's real fun. Also take these. Okay. We've got skills now. Yeah, we've got the gloves. We've got the gloves. Okay, let, let, just let me look at the time here. Because usually I give about 30 minutes for these reviews. And we have 30 minutes right now. But I actually want to start playing this game. Uh, I want to keep playing this game, actually. But I'm on the review night, so we're going to quit this review. Um, we're gonna go over to the next game. I definitely uh, would buy this game. What I like about it is the, the sound is great. The, uh, the characters are really, really, really cute. Um, well, graphics, simple, but enjoyable. Uh, the, the background music is good. It all fits the setting. I, I love some new features that I don't see much designers do. Like, instead of having a mini-map, just have, a, have the characters incorporate what you want in game mechanics like when I want to see where I'm going I press T and this little snorty guy tells me where I need to go so it's incorporated into the gameplay I would give this game for its setting and for the genre it is in I would probably give it an 8 uh, I would probably give it an 8 out of 10 definitely or maybe bordering a 9 out of 10 um, it's not a legendary status it is a it is it is a game that you will find um, online uh, for in all sorts of varieties but this game is really unique and I love the setting to feel everything just fits this is really a good game game to do so we're going to go over to our next game uh, I'm gonna stop the stream and start the stream and I'll see you in a minute <laughs>